if you find yourself being distracted daily by emails coming in, by articles you want to read, by all this other stuff and don't know exactly what to do with it, today I'm going to show you a tool I use inside of Evernote to help with exactly that problem. Let's go. What's up guys, Lou here and yes, this isn't Evernote but we're inside of um, Chrome. I'm going to show you exactly what I do to get information out of Chrome and into Evernote so I can check it out at a later date. So let me show you the tool we're going to be using here. Now, it's already in my extensions, but if you were here, you would just come to um, Google um, Chrome extensions. So more tools and you would go to extensions and you would come here, come to the web store. And then from there, you can just type in Evernote web clipper boom and it's right there evernote web clipper super duper easy to set up with your account <clears throat> so let's close that and we'll go back now if you haven't seen how this email inbox works you can check out this video right here i detail exactly how i never have an, a full inbox it always goes to a place where i'm going to take action on it so let's scroll down here everything in my read later is typically stuff from like newsletters that i receive or articles that people send to me to check out and you know i don't stop and read them right there and then because that's a distraction from what i'm trying to actually achieve so i send them to this read later file now the problem with this right here is that it builds up over time you know this is probably like a week's worth maybe of of things that have been sent that i want to read later but I'm not always inside of Gmail when it comes to like, okay, what should I check out? You know, if I have a few minutes here and there, I'm not always going to automatically go to into my Gmail to see what's in read layer. So I want to get this out of here and send over to Evernote. So let's take a couple things here. Um, I'm going to show you how Web Clipper works. Um, let's go to this one here. Chart art. This is a awesome um, um, email subscription if you want to check this out and um, they just send you like interesting graphs for a variety of topics it's just a visual cool thing to see um, to see how different companies are running see what trends are happening around the country and around the world so the one I wanted to check out was this one here and uh, the the Reynolds effects you know how Ryan Reynolds uses his star power to build businesses and put his name behind brands okay specifically Wrexham FC if you've seen that documentary it was really interesting so I kind of want to read this article right here now a little caveat typically I have my my um, browser a lot bigger so I can see more of this email so I would typically be able to see a lot more but we're just shrinking it down so we can fit it on the screen so you guys can see it so um, when I'm going to clip this typically I would clip it from here all the way to there so I can read the whole thing but for the sake of this video I'm just going to clip this part okay so what we would do if I want to take this article I'm just going to come up here and click on the Evernote icon and it'll load the web clipper. Now I can do one of two things. I could just shoot this entire email over. So if the entire email is one article or one thing that you really want to check out later, you can send out the whole email um, by this right here. All you have to do is connect your email to Evernote and you just go to save clip and it will shoot over the entire email. So we'll just do that for the sake of showing you. Then from there, let's go ahead and do it again and um, I'll show you what I typically do because usually I don't really want to see all of these articles. I just want to see this one right here. Okay. So I'm going to go instead of email, I'm going to go to screenshot and I'm going to um, crop the area that I want. Remember, typically I would do a lot more. You can't scroll down, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to take this much right here just for the sake of this tutorial. Take this right here. Now, the thing I really love about the screenshot as well is that you can alter it after you've done it. So you can add in like arrows and text and stuff like that. So maybe I, you know, I put an arrow right here, boom, draw it there. And you know, I could put text in right here, boom, like check out this part, you know. So you can alter things, bring that over here. I could shrink it up. Yeah. You know, so you could do things like that. So it's really cool because if there's certain things and certain points you want to actually make sure you check out, you could do that. You can draw, you know, shapes over things like, OK, check out this Mint Mobile piece. Um, you can highlight uh, different parts of it like this. You can change the color for the highlight, too. So there's a ton of cool stuff that you can do over it because, you know, you might just want to take it and be like cut down and condense the things you want actually want to see. 
you can put stamps on it you can even like if it's a if it's a, a document that has stuff in it that you want to share with people you don't want pe people to see you can also just come here and blur out like parts of it like this and i like this part in the clipper because you can do this all before you send it to evernote so now it's good to go i'm going to just type in uh, reynolds effect edited so that just uh, i didn't spell his name right um, so that just tells me that I've edited it and it's exactly what I want from this clip and I'll go save clip right here and it'll sync and it'll save to Evernote. So let's move over to Evernote. I'm going to show you what this looks like. Boom. So um, in Evernote, in recently captured right here, you can see that immediately it syncs up. So let's go to that first one, right? The first one was when I sent the actual um, uh, email right here. And it took the whole article so you know in evernote now i have that entire article again i can go in right here and edit it and do stuff like that but it's just way easier to do inside of the clipper so let's go back there again and look at the one i just took and i come here and it's right there ready to roll super duper simple so that's how i like to you know get things out of like images and different things like that now let's look at another example here where we're going to actually take something from a website like an article so let's go back in let's go into inman because that's how we get a lot of our, our um, industry uh, knowledge an article uh, so let's just pick um uh, article it doesn't really matter what it is but say I want to read this article right here. And here's the thing about InMan. There's always ads that pop up. There's always different things. It's kind of annoying and it makes it really kind of hard to read this. So we're going to go ahead and clip this. Now, what I like to do is go simplified article. So if you take the full article, it will do the entire thing with all the ads and all that jazz. You can take the full page. You can screenshot it. I go simplified article. So you can see what it does is it, it condenses it down and it makes it much cleaner and easier to read. And I really, really enjoy that. So this is what I like to do. And then from here, you know, I'll just do that. Save clip. Boom. And then we'll go back into Evernote and it's right there. Ping. Boom. And it's saved in. And it keeps all the links. It keeps the source of where you're going from. You can tag it on the way in. You can do a bunch of things with it as well. But this is a really, really great way for me to send things to my inbox to check out later. Because remember, with my uh, Para system, I empty the inbox every week to see what's there, see what's relevant. So all I have to do at the end of the week, and again, I can read this in real time whenever I want to. But what I might do is at the end of the week, just click on and be like, okay, why did I save this? Okay, it's seven things to transform your life and business forever. Okay, well, I'm going to find the right project, the right area or the right resource to throw this in. And that's the thing about this. It's not something that you have to read now or you have to read tomorrow or next week. It's just something that I want to read at some point. And when the relevant topic comes up that I'm working on that this is going to help me with, it's there for me to read. So if I put this inside of, you know, uh, got group for or whatever you know i can just drag it down to to the right place when i click in there to kind of work on my business work on our production it's in there and i can check out and be like oh this is a great article whatever so i think this is a super important thing it's a great tool to use web clippers it's so easy i used to use like rewise and instapaper and they were great but having this one that's synced up already with my notes is phenomenal. Uh, so this is a really great way to go. So the Web Clipper is definitely worth checking out, guys. I think it's a phenomenal tool for this PKM, your personal knowledge management, and keeping everything in this one place. And now, you know, if I just want to read it later on, again, remember, we can add tasks to this. So I can come in here. I can go ahead, come here, add a task, boom. I can say, read this and I'm gonna click on tomorrow, you know? So it's like, if I wanna just make sure I read that by a certain date, I can go ahead and do that and I can come back to my home and you can see in my tasks, tomorrow it's gonna to say, read this. I'm gonna say, read what? It's this article here, go to the note, read it, boom. Bam, I love, love, love this system, guys. Evernote is the bomb. So check it out, Web Clipper. If you haven't looked at all the other Evernote tutorials we have, check it out right here and I'll see you on the next one.